I now, I now give the floor to Mr. Adedeji Ebo. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished members of the Security Council, I thank council members for the opportunity to brief you once again on the implementation of Security Council Resolution 2118 of 2013 on the elimination of the chemical weapons program of the Syrian Arab Republic. I am providing this briefing on behalf of the High Representative for the Summerment Affairs, Ms. Izumi Nakamitsu, who is currently away from office. Since the last consideration of this matter by the Council, and consistent with established practice, the Office for Disarmament Affairs has been in regular contact with its counterparts in the OPCW Technical Secretariat on activities related to Resolution 2018. Mr. President, since the Council's previous meeting on this matter, the OPCW Declaration Assessment Team, or DAT, has continued its efforts to clarify all outstanding issues regarding the initial declaration and subsequent declarations submitted by the Syrian Arab Republic. As was reported at the last briefing to the Council on this matter, consultations between the DAT and the Syrian National Authority resumed in October 2023, after a gap of more than two and a half years. I am pleased to further report that another round of consultations have taken place from 23rd January to 1st February 2024, which is the 26th round of consultations. I have been informed that during the 26th round of consultations, the DAT conducted technical meetings, revisited the status of outstanding issues, discussed ways to resolve these issues, and interviewed seven persons who were involved in the Syrian chemical weapons program. The DAT also discussed the results of analysis of samples it collected between 2019 and 2023 with a focus on the unexpected presence of indicators of potentially undeclared activities involving research and development, production, storage, and or the weaponization of unknown quantities of chemical weapons. Throughout the technical meetings, the DAT requested and explained to the Syrian National Authority the need for tangible, scientifically plausible, and verifiable explanations, amendments, and documents to resolve issues. I have been informed that the Syrian National Authority provided several amendments and explanations regarding research activities at some sites taking into consideration the DAT proposals and requests. In addition, following the consultations, on 15 February 2024, the Syrian Arab Republic submitted two note verbals regarding three outstanding issues and new explanations of the results of the analysis of samples collected by the DAT at one of the declared sites. I have been informed that the DAT is currently analyzing the information received and will report the results in due course. I encourage all parties involved to continue this renewed spirit of cooperation so that all outstanding issues regarding the initial and subsequent declarations submitted by the Syrian Arab Republic can be resolved. Mr. President, these outstanding issues include the complete declaration of activities 
at the Scientific Studies and Research Center, or SSRC, and the declaration of quantities of nerve agents produced at one chemical weapons production facility that was declared by the Syrian Arab Republic as never having been used to produce chemical weapons. With regard to inspections of the Barza and Jamraya facilities of the SSRC, I have been advised that the OPCW Technical Secretariat is planning the next round of inspections in 2024. However, as of the date of this month's report, the Syrian Arab Republic has yet to provide sufficient technical information or explanations that would enable the OPCW Technical Secretariat to close the issue related to the detection of a Schedule II chemical at the Barza facilities of the SSRC in November 2018. In addition, the OPCW Technical Secretariat has advised that it will continue its engagement with the Syrian National Authority concerning the origin and usage of a chemical of dual use nature observed by the inspection team during the previous round of inspections in September 2022. The OPCW Technical Secretariat has also requested information regarding the unauthorized movement of, two, of the two cylinders related to the chemical weapon incident that took place in Duma on 7 April 2018, which were allegedly destroyed in an attack on a chemical weapons production facility. I have been informed that, as of the date of this report, the Technical Secretariat has not received a response to this request. Mr. President, the OPCW Technical Secretariat remains fully committed to implementing its mandate aimed at verifying the fulfillment of the Syrian Arab Republic's declaration obligations under the Convention, decisions by the OPCW policy organs, and Security Council resolutions. However, as has been previously emphasized, full cooperation by the Syrian Arab Republic with the OPCW Technical Secretariat is essential to closing all outstanding issues Considering the identified gaps, inconsistencies, and discrepancies that remain unresolved, at this time, the OPCW Technical Secretariat assesses that the declaration submitted by the Syrian Arab Republic still cannot be considered accurate and complete in accordance with the Chemical Weapons Convention. I call upon the Syrian Arab Republic to continue its cooperation with the OPCW Technical Secretariat and respond with urgency to all of the Technical Secretariat's requests. Mr. President, since the last meeting of the Council, the OPCW Technical uh, Fact-Finding Mission, FFM, and the Investigation and Identification Team, IIT, have both released reports under their respective mandates. On 22nd February 2024, the OPCW Technical Secretariat issued a report of the fact-finding mission regarding an incident of alleged use of toxic chemicals as a weapon in Al Yarmouk on 22nd October 2017. The report concluded that the information obtained and analyzed in line with the FFM's mandate was not sufficient to provide reasonable grounds for the FFM to determine that toxic chemicals were used as a weapon in the reported incident. The FFM is currently preparing upcoming deployments and will report to the Executive Council on the results of its work in due course. The OPCW Technical Secretariat also issued a report on 22nd February 2024 entitled 
fourth report by the OPCW investigation and identification team pursuant to paragraph 10 of decision CSS4 slash December, December 3, addressing the threat from chemical weapons use. Maria, Syrian Arab Republic, 1st September 2015. In this report, the IIT concluded on the basis of all information obtained and its analysis that there, that there are reasonable grounds to believe that on 1st September 2015, during sustained attacks aimed at capturing the town of Maria, units of the Islamic states in Iraq and the Levant, otherwise known as ISIL, destroyed, sorry, deployed sulfur mustard using one or more artillery guns. The IIT was able to identify a number of four individuals as perpetrators and two further ISIL members were identified as the primary drivers of ISIL's chemical weapons program. The Secretary General has shared the IIT report with council members as document S slash 2024 slash 200. The IIT will continue its investigations and will issue further reports in due course. Mr. President, distinguished members of the Security Council, as the High Representative for Disarmament Affairs has emphasized on many occasions, any use of chemical weapons is unacceptable. I also echo the Secretary General's call to end impunity for all those who dare to use such weapons, especially against civilians. The absence of accountability for the use of chemical weapons continues to be a threat to international peace and security and a danger to us all. In closing, I urge the members of this council to unite on this issue and show leadership in demonstrating that impunity in the use of chemical weapons will not be tolerated. The United Nations will continue to support all efforts to uphold the norm against chemical weapons and to relegate these dreadful weapons to history. The UN Office for Disarmament Affairs stands ready to provide whatever support and assistance it can. I thank you very much for your attention. I thank you. I thank Mr. Abel for his, his briefing.